Now every bricklayer knows that the function of a cavity tray is to deflect any moisture that's penetrated the outer skin through windblown rain and is running down the inner side of the outer skin. And it deflects that moisture to the outside through a series of weep vents. Now cavity trays are typically used in areas where that moisture might transfer from the outer to the inner skin. And typically that could be something like over a fire stop, a masonry support system, or even a ventilation duct. Now in order to be effective, the cavity tray shouldn't be any more than three brick courses above the thing it's protecting. So in this case, it's absolutely perfect. It's right by the fire stop, but you could have it over a soldier course. But just remember the closer the cavity tray is to the item it's protecting, the better. Now in order for a cavity tray to comply with building regulations, it has to achieve certain dimensions. The two important measurements, if you like are oh, it has to be at least 140 millimeters high and also that sloping section has to be at least 100 millimeters and this is just to stop those mortar droppings from building up behind the tray and blocking the drainage so the other important requirement is that we've got to stop the water from traveling horizontally along the cavity tray the way this is done is it's got integral stop ends here which will prevent the water from spilling over the end down inside a window reveal or over the edge of a lintel. So what I said about Keyfix being innovative and trying to design out any problems, they've actually formed these as an integral part of the cavity tray rather than something you have to stick on afterwards. Now, if you're thinking that this is just one more headache for the bricklayer, Keyfix have thought about that. They've made the sequence as simple as possible by providing a drawing and numbered components so that all the bricklayer's got to do is work around the building, starting from left, working around right, anti-clockwise if you like, following the drawing. And the really great thing is that every single component has got a label on it where it's numbered up and matches the drawing.